Good morning, Facebook Live. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the Lab of Paul's Photo, and the Creative Photo Academy. It's day 213 of our Be Creative series. It's Sunday, and tomorrow the Dodgers start the National League Championship Series against the Atlanta Braves. And I just had a vision today of a picture. And I wanted to share this picture with you. It took me about half an hour to set up. And I just want to go through it with you. So here we go. This is the idea that I have. And not every picture requires this much thought. But when we talk in class, when you guys come to class, we talk about pre-visualization. People always ask me, Mark, what do you mean by pre-visualization? Pre this is what I mean. So my, my design... There's the bat, the logo, the ball blurring into the picture with an out-of-focus background behind it so that it looks like we're in the baseball stadium. So that's what I built here today. So I put the bat, it's here just resting on the chair, taped down to the table. Blue painter's tape is like an awesome tool in photography, as is a Sharpie pen. So I got this set up, Nikon 70-200 to 200 lens on the Z7. Focused on the logo of the bat. Then I looked at the background. And I wanted the out of focus background that looked like the baseball stadium. So I needed random shapes and colors. And what do we have around the house? My wife's cookbooks. So I put the cookbooks in the background to make this beautiful out of focus background. You can't see it's the dining room table. The aperture on the lens is going to be at f4 or 5.6. So it's going to be beautifully colored, out of focus, bouquet. It's going to be awesome. Now, what do I need to do? I need to have the ball swing into the picture. So I have a couple choices. I could have thrown the ball. If I throw the ball, it's going to be random. It's going to bounce all over. I've got to chase it down. So what I decided to do, I took a piece of string, a piece of thread, threaded it through the stitches on the ball, attached it to my contractor square that's taped to my compact little tripod, and so now I can swing the ball, it's going to be repeatable, and that's how I'm going to get the motion of the ball blurry in the picture. I did some test shots with this, and the ball was too blurry. So what did I do? I'm adding a flash. So the Nikon SP5000 with the SC26, SP28 control cord to move the flash off the camera. So the flash is going to stop the ball, so there will be a little bit of blur, and some stop action at the same time. It's going to be an awesome shot. Does anybody have any questions, Cheryl? Is everybody out there? Can everybody tell me you're there? Can you give me a wahoo, a yahoo, an emoji? Can you give me something? Can you tell me what's going on out there? Huh? Are we there? Nobody's there? Is nobody watching? Oh my gosh. This is such a cool shot. You all should be watching this. So let's take a look. Let's make the shot happen here. So. I'm going to go to F4, and I'm going to go to a 30th of a second, and I'm going to set my ISO to 200, just like that, and so I'm going to do a test shot, boom, look at the test shot, there we go, it's perfect, right, so you see that bright spot there, that's where the flash is hitting, that's where the ball is supposed to end up, so let's see if I can hit the ball, hit the spot, so ready, three, two, one, it was a little bit late, a little early, right there, awesome, yes, yes, perfect. Now, I'm going to change, I'm going to go to a little bit faster shutter speed, I'm going to go to f5.6 and a 60th of a second, dampen the ambient light a little bit, yes. Now, when you do a, kind of a shot like this, how many times are we going to do this? I'm going to drive everybody in the house nuts because they're going to hear the ball clank 75 or 100 times. But look at, oh, look at that! Is that cool? Yes! Missed, 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 yes, no, yes! Look at that! And you can't even see the string, can you? This is so cool. I love it, right? So here's the slower shutter speed, right? Just playing, experimenting. Having fun with this. That's what creative photography is all about. Have an idea, pre-visualize. 
Build it. Make it happen. I love it. Thank you for being here today. Happy Sunday. Happy creativity to all of you. And happy day 213 of the Be Creative Series. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the Lab at Paul's Photo, and the Creative Photo Academy wishing you good fun, great pictures, and I can't wait to see what you do today.